Stats are in for the month of January. It appears to be that new truck sales are down yet again. Freightliners, Kenworths, Volvos, Navistar. How did each one of these OEMs perform in the month of January? And stay tuned to the end of this video where I give you my prediction on what I think is going to happen over the next three or four months. Now let's get to it. So let's talk about it. Class eight trucks. Now in this video, we're comparing stats from January, 2024 to January of 2023. So just January alone, standalone, we are looking at a 6.7% decrease in truck sales. What does that actually mean in numbers? Well, in 2024, 18,594 trucks were sold. And in 2023, in January of 2023, 19,000 932 units were sold. Now we're gonna take this one step further and we're gonna talk about the different OEMs and how much they lost or gained shares. So for example, you know, we'll talk about Freightliner, we'll talk about the Volvos, you know, how many, uh, how much of the market cap are they capturing um, and which OEMs are at a plus and which OEMs are at a minus. So there are some OEMs that actually increased sales in the month of January and there's some OEMs that decreased sales in the month of January. So first we'll talk about the Freightliner. Can can you believe that 44.8, that's almost 45% of every class eight truck is a Freightliner. That's literally for every one, for every two trucks that are being sold is a Freightliner. So the Freightliner is a brand Daimler truck, North America led sales with 8,335 trucks sold. That represents a 44.8% market share. A Western Star, a Daimler brand, notched the largest year over year increase with sales jumping 58.9% to 901 units. So again, the Western Star, if we take last year's stats, it was 567 units sold. And this year in January, it was 901. All right, but overall, Daimler truck sales led the entire way with 8,335 trucks sold, representing 44.8%. Now the next runner up is the Kenworth trucks. Kenworth actually had a decrease in 4.9%. So they sold 2,486 units, but in last year this time they sold 2,614 units. So they had a 4.9% decrease. And then the same OEM, the Peterbilt, uh, which is under Packard. So Peterbilt actually saw a 9.6% increase in sales. So they went up uh, to 2,694 power units sold instead of 2,459 power units sold. So Kenworth went down, Peterbilt went up. Now we'll talk about the Mac truck. So the Mac truck sales fell 13.4% from 989 power units sold last year. They sold 856 power units and Volvo truck sales increased by 1.3%. So they kind of stay the same. They're selling about 1400 power units per month. So that's Mac and VTNA are brands of the Volvo group. So to recap that Mac fell 13.4% where uh, Volvo increased their sales by 1.3%. And now Navistar, Navistar International brand fell by 23.4% to 1,884 units. So last year they sold 2,459 units and this year they sold 1,884 power units. So in totality as a whole, what does this mean? 6.7%, if you look at January last year, it fell by 6.7% to this year, okay? In the month of January, they sold 18,000 594 power units. Now, if this number continues to go down, we all know what's happening with the used market out there. The market is flooded, flooded with used power units and companies that are going out of business. This is actually going to decrease even more further the brand new truck sales, because think about it. I mean, you have a brand new power unit, $200,000 power unit. You can pick up a one-year-old or a two-year-old for literally almost half the price right now. So a two-year-old truck will probably get you around at $100,000, $120,000. So this is driving driving the sales probably to go down even further. Now, I think that this is not the end of it. We'll probably see in the month of February, March, and April, we'll continue to see declines. And as we continue to see declines, it's actually a good thing for all of us in the industry because hopefully soon then the market will end up correcting itself. So if there's less trucks on the road, this is a better sign for the remainder of us out there. So make sure you're a part of this channel. I'll keep you guys updated with what's happening in the market. I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, and I'll catch you in my next video.